And so I will ask this question in earnest. How many people here today came here to listen to me because you actually don't agree with everything that Candace Owens says? Cool, awesome. I actually think it's really cool that all of you guys are here because it's important to listen to ideas that you disagree with. It's awesome, give them a round of applause. And also, at the end of this, if you guys sitting in the row have any questions, we want you to come right to the front of the line and ask them. We want to give you an opportunity to talk to us, talk about the things that you disagree with, and hopefully find places where we do agree. Because I am convinced after doing this for seven plus years, that there are actually a lot of things that we do agree on, but right now the media doesn't allow for that conversation to take place. Um, it is stunning to me how many people that follow me now on social media tell me how much they used to hate me because they would read articles about what I said and they had never actually heard what I had to say. So to kind of just start and give a spiel in case you are not familiar with what my viewpoints are. Hi, my name is Candace Owens. I never thought that I would have a platform uh, for thinking outside of a box. It doesn't make sense to me still that I have a platform and that I have so many followers because I really just said one simple statement which shouldn't be that shocking which is that black people don't have to be Democrats. I don't think that that's a requirement. <laughs> the second thing that I think I said that has upset a lot of people is that as a black person, I am not required to support a movement that garnered $90 million in one year and in which none of the money went to the black community. So what I've learned now is that it's independent thought that perturbs individuals. And what's really happened right now in American society is that people with a lot more power than us have created certain boxes that we are expected to live in based on our personal attributes, based on what we look like, right? If you are a black person, you must support this, you must vote this way, and you must think this way. If you are as one example, a gay person, and this one always shocks me, okay, well, you can't just be gay. You now have to support the B-T-Q-R-I-A-S-T-U-V alphabet. Why? Why, if I was a gay man and I was married in America, would I have to also support transgenderism on children? It makes no sense. It's a random box that has been created, okay? It makes no sense. And God forbid you are a gay person, you say, actually, you know what, just because um, I'm a male and I'm in love with another male, I actually don't necessarily believe you know, that we should be affirming children's gender, then the entire community, your community, will chew you up and swallow you whole. That's what, and this is what really the purpose of these boxes are, is to make sure that you conform, that you don't think, that you don't think beyond boundaries that have been assigned for you. And this goes over on all over the place, all across America, we see these boxes being created and people are fearful of stepping outside of them because they get smeared, ridiculous smears. I mean, the, the first thing that came at me was that I was a black white supremacist. It's entirely no sense. People just couldn't think and go, well, why would Candace want to live in a society, help create a society that she can't live in? Why would I want white supremacy to come back if I can't function within that society? Um, the second thing, which is my favorite, which is said about me, is that you know one day I woke up and became a conservative because I wanted to make a ton of money. Sweetheart, if I wanted to make a ton of money, I would have been the most committed black liberal you've ever seen, okay? <laughs> they were writing Patrice Cullors checks I have never seen in my life for saying Black Lives Matter on a fist bump. Do you know how much better I would have done it than Pat Patrice Cullors? I would have been on CNN, MSNBC. I mean, they were eating this stuff up, giving book deals to people for nothing, literally for being black, right? And then when it all came down, nobody wanted to say anything about Patrice Cullors, and so I made an entire documentary. I did, right? Because she was a fraud, and she always was a fraud, and people couldn't see it at the height of their emotion. And this is the thing that people don't realize, is that your emotions have been hijacked, right? You need to set aside your emotions if you want to make it through society today. They will find out how you feel and they will manipulate you. I say this, at the moment that you have a feeling, pause and ask yourself, who benefits from that feeling? I will guarantee you it's not you. 